screaming. Oh my god. Oh my god, something is crazy. Like this sport helicopter. This sport here is crazy good. Oh my god, they're trooping around here. Like it's so good. That is like give me goosebumps on like, quality. This part is insane, man. Like this part is spinning around here. Yeah, moto, moto. Dun, dun, dun. This part, like the animation, the quality of this thing. So I made this video, guys, because holy shit, this is opening the highest budget opening this season. Crazy. But they're like, <laughs> I'm still on five of them. This is so well done. This opening is just crazy good. My god, like, it's like the whole movie body is only for this whole thing. The, the whole actual movie is very good, but the, yeah, like this, all the money. I look at this in here, her breast goes up. I mean, seriously, she's breathing in and they're animating how her oppa is all like, you know, like, it's just too much money for an opening, guys, okay? They spent like 10 billion dollars on her tits there, Jesus Christ. This opening is blowing my mind. Oh my god, this is a Sakuga, they like, they blew the whole body head in just the opening. So, hello, I'm Warden here. I will do a quick review to talk about because I, I love doing opening anime residues at M. So, yesterday or today, whatever, right, we have the Quintuplet movie 2, I guess you call it. But, but basically, this whole thing is crazy. Crazy. Look at this in here. Like, it's so much animation about it here. Look at this in. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this whole thing, is, whole thing is crazy. It looks amazing. So, let's react and view to it. Let me explain what it is first of all. Right? So, of course, Quintuplet. Famous horror, a lo very lovable horror anime writer on Five of Her. Uh, had two seasons, then they had a movie, right? I did the movie review reaction, links below for that. And the movie is yet being pretty good, but it is one story aspect that I hated, like the father, whatever, I digress. But that movie then skipped over a bunch of chapters, you know, like fifth, typically, right? You know, fifth chapter, whatever, yeah, because it's bum rushed it through, right? To get the ending, to get the marriage scene. Uh, where of course my best girl won, so <laughs> but this is then basically movie two, I guess, or OVA direct, you know, special episode thing. But I would say it's basically it's movie two, right? We kind of it's supposed to fill in all the chapters that wasn't aired between the two and the movie. Then I guess similar to Horimiya that goes right now, it has Horimiya the missing pieces, right? Where Horimiya is basically like, oh, doing the thing we skipped over, so. I don't know, this movie is kind of meh in that sense, right? Because it's like in the middle between the, the season two and a half or something. <laughs> but whatever, the opening is amazing. Let's watch the opening. Okay, let's go. It's Chicago Caution beginning. And everyone's like, I love you more, not me! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's key. Of course, they're singing the song right there, This is so good. This is, yeah, this is all yesterday before the full opening was out. Yeah, but they're running here. This is crazy. But they're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on five of them. It is so well done. This opening is just crazy good. My god. Like, it's like the whole movie body is only for this opening. The, the whole actual movie is very good, but the, yeah, like this, all the money. And of course, the coloring, yeah, Ishikan, you know, it's 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Yeah, it's good with the classic. Miku. I look at this in here, her breast goes up. I mean, seriously, she's breathing in and they're animating how her oppa is all like, you know, like, it's just too much money for an opening, guys, okay? They spent like 10 billion dollars on her tits there, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and this in here, they're all screaming, oh my god. Oh my god, this opening is crazy. Like, this sport helicopter, this sport here is crazy good! Oh my god, they're trooping around here. Like, it's so good. You're like, my god, this off the day I have to go back to that part again when it's spinning around the part is just that is like give me goosebumps on how quality it is. Yeah, I mean, here we get a And of course we go back to yeah of course For your car, yeah And then we see the girls to get a phone call and so on. I used to use she's eyes too. Oh my god, let me see all the characters. Oh yeah, this is like the, the the movie ends, yeah, we have the new job and so on. Yeah, the last bit kinda of spoiling the movie and then we see the marriage and so on, he's getting married, but the last bit there of the opening is kind of like showing you how it ends right in the movie. So they kind of have a car face or one, but you know, too much. I don't spoil too much, guys, if you haven't seen it. This is the best though. <laughs> you had Simba's ass. <laughs> you had Simba's butt. Uh, but let's go to this part. This part here is just crazy. The start here. This part is insane, man. Like this part is spinning around. Yeah, moto, moto. Dun, dun, dun. This part, like the animation, the quality of this thing. So I made this video, guys, because holy shit, this is opening the highest budget opening this season. It's like 5,000 frames per second there. Just that Shane at that playground, they go back to that scene again there. Oh my god, this is Shane there. There's this Shane here. Jesus Christ, man. They're paying way too much money for this budget. <laughs> Their movie isn't even that good. It's like all the, it really is like all the money for the opening. Um, but yeah, of course, I mean, generally, 
the whole opening is great, right? First have them all running and so on. But this part here, which is kind of halfway through the opening, and the chorus starts, right? So it fits in the song as well. This part is insane. Like this part here, yeah, Jesus Christ. I keep saying, I, I don't like a broken record, but this part here, when, you know, Ichika is spinning, right? And then we see, of course, Nino and so on. Like she's so high quality. Like it's so incredibly high quality uh, of each character here and how they're moving their bodies and so on. It looks a little worse now, when, of course, when I'm pausing it, because I can't just. You know, plug in the full thing. But you get a point, like when you actually see the animation style, like it, it looks just amazing. Like it's, yeah, it's like a super, it's best girl, good super. And like, you know, here is the books, yeah. But if you go back and make no, this scene here is actually crazy well done. It's like, it's like a perversely well done. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Like she's breathing right you now. <sighs> you really see how they're like animating her breasts going up, right? Because she's taking like a deep breath, you know? So yeah. Yeah, they really like, they really like, well, it's like, the high, the quality on her oppies, man. Like, they're, they're spending like a billion bucks, man, animating your titties in the perfect order. It, it's just so, this opening is so fucking god. Like, it's crazy, but also in a weird way, though, because it's Queen Tuplet, so it's mostly just the fan service. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, we're gonna really animate these boobs. It's gonna be really great. Same thing here, it picks the book out, yeah, like, the flow of it and so on. But anyway, guys, what do you guys think? I think this is probably the most fucking god opening so far. Uh, this year, uh, I, I I watched it, you know, this morning when I woke up and I was like, oh god, this need I need to make a video about video. It is so good. The opening is so good. Uh, from my wish standpoint, from a song standpoint, I don't think it's nearly as good as the earlier quintuplet songs. No, I think the earlier, the first and second opening are really good, and the song here is, is fine. But you know, they sing their own song, yeah, the opening and so on. But the other ones are better. And just to point out, you know, I still stand by that Bleach is a better opening, yeah, speaking, because this has, this is basically, I mean, this is definitely a higher budget than the Bleach opening, or at least extremely well done from a Sakuga standpoint. It's really, really framed, you know, frame well done. But the Bleach opposite is your story, like the Joe Shopper and so on, for example, right? Or, you know, the Traitor and so on, yeah. This opening, the problem with the opening, though, let's be honest here, the problem with the opening is it has no storytelling, basically, right? It's just like really, really pretty. Yeah, it's like the vis. But this is what I mean, it's Sakuga in a way is very, very visually amazing. It's definitely the most like visually stunning open this season or this year or whatever so far. But it's not like it's not telling me a story. And it's probably an issue though is because this movie or whatever OVA or whatever is taking place between the last movie and the second season, right? So they can't really tell you much of a story because it's kind of already done, you know? So if, if they made like a... If you go and look at the actual, the actual first movie's opening is kind of thing, then it's more of a storytelling, right? Because it's like, well, we, we're going to have the wedding. Who, this is going to fight. Ishika is going to betray them, you know? I mean, then, then you can be more of that, right? This oh, this movie here is, 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 is like very misplaced, right? It's very weirdly placed. It's in the middle of everything. So I feel it's a hard time for them to like, you know, tell a story in the opening, right? Where otherwise I would rank... Some other openings higher, right? Life has a bleach opening because it has a story. Uh, Doctor Stone's opening has a story in the actual opener. There's no story whatsoever. She's incredibly visually stunning. Yeah, it's just like, my God. It's visually amazing. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Anyway, subscribe. Have a great day.